it's me fruity you know that what that means that means we're we still have more fucking filler work until i'm done with the video i want to do or i just cancel it probably the probably the latter probably the latter you may be wondering what are we looking at today well if the little revolver on my on my hip doesn't tell you exactly what we're looking at we're looking at magical muskets uh what, what do you want me to say about this deck it's it's the most american archetype in the entire game uh Literally Revolver Dan. The deck mostly revolves around you just having a bunch of cards that you want to activate spells and traps in the same column as. Except for him. He lets you draw two. Starfire lets you special summon a monster from deck if you have a card activate in the same... A spell or trap activate in the same column. Casper lets you add a card to hand. Wind. You can target three magical muskets in your grave. Shuffle into your deck. Calamity. You can target one magical musket monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. I can add... And then Doc lets you add one from grave. Interesting. Very cool. Uh, then you have their fucking link monster that says, hey, either summon four or set f or add four. Pick. That's pretty cool. We then have Exceed because you have a link one that you can make pretty freely. You have Star uh, Gadara, just your kaiju of choice. Link to the Vrains, of course, because this card is just so good for this deck if you're not playing the Runic version. We'll get to that later in a different video. Musket Cross Domination is a great card. It lets you negate and reduce the card's attack and defense to zero. Very nice card. Book of Moon, of course. Raigeki, of course. Heart, of course. Last Stand, negate a spell or trap. Destroy a card if with Desperado. And then target up to three cards in the graveyard. Banish them with Dancing Needle. A great card back in tier format. Nowadays, complete ass. And then Super Poly. I don't know what you want me to say about this one. Got Dragostopelia, Fusion Dragon, Exciton Knight, Baguska, Apoloza, Light Charmer, Boral, Mech Knight, IP, Unicorn, Phoenix, Cerberus, Musketeer Max. That's the deck. I don't know what you want me to say about it. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. I just want to quickly say, this, this replay, the start, is to tamper your expectations of this deck. We're up against Sword Soul in the first match, and much like people assumed, the deck is actually kind of crazy in like lower tier stuff, but as soon as you throw an actually competitive deck against it, it gets a little bit more difficult to play. Example being Sword Soul. I mean, the uh, basic, people say this deck is super complicated. Look, this is the basic combo they just did. Negate, we do Avermax, we do Shushia, they negate the effects, we do Rain, we could do it, go into Cerberus, pop, and we end our turn. They bring it back, they go into an Adam Emancipator, they bring back the same guy, they go into fucking another fucking level 10, it's over. That's it. I just surrender at this point. Like, what do you want me to do against that? But that that's, that's the tamper the expectations of the deck. This replay is actually a mirror match. I wanted this one to show off how actually interesting that can get if it actually can pop off, which also shows something very in particular. Musket has a different deck style. It's runic. Look at the silly little cards. They're just doing dock. They add five. They go into a light charmer. They pass. We play a little differently. First off, what the fuck is this hand? This is against a DM, Dark Magician. What the fuck is this? <laughs> we'll set two. We'll pass. They'll go into their turn. They'll activate magic. They'll do Dark Magicians. They'll use Servant. You'll circle, draw it, activate circle immediately. <laughs> Look at this shit. We'll super probably go into Drago. They'll add the same card they just used this turn. Activate souls, bring back magician. We'll Stapelia. They'll hit me for 25. Neat. We'll change a heart, grab another monster, go into max, max effect, bring out all four. Go into a light charmer, go into Phoenix. Gate effects, bring out more boys, Cerberus, <laughs> Light Charmer, bring back their monster, go into max, bring out IP, hit them for a fuck ton of damage. IP going to Apoloza for two negates.
they will attempt to do their their fucking Tamias. Bring out Soul, draw a circle to do magic, they'll bring out your goon. Fuck. Get the effect, it's having to gain more attack. We They did it at just before we could do it. Just before we could activate our fucking Abram Axis effect. Which we were able to kill Dragoon with. Holy shit. Uh, and I'd like to say that uh, this is the most easiest fucking W of all time for muskets. I mean, that's the deck. I don't really have anything extra to say to it. It's a pretty short video because this deck is pretty basic in comparison to the other one I wanted to try with it. But I just wanted to show this off because it's a real cheap version of the deck. It can definitely play. You just gotta tamper the expectation of it actually being competitively viable in this style. It's definitely not. But you know, I'm just taking a shot in the dark with it.